Good afternoon. It's Friday, and Friday is my favorite day. Not because it's an introduction to the weekend, because typically I'm working most of the weekend anyway, but because it's the day that I can go and try to hit a couple of estate sales. And if you've never tried going to estate sales, you really should try it. If you like vintage, if you like retro, if you like just seeing time capsule homes, this is a great way to do it. Estate sales typically are sales of the entire contents of a home. And it may be that someone is downsizing or have passed away or are moving into a nursing home. And sometimes it's just like a foreclosure and people are just having to move quickly and get rid of their things. But anyway, so you go and um, you, you see what's there. And I went to an estate sale this morning that was really cool. Everything was 60s, 70s, so it was very retro, kind of the whole time capsule thing. And I went through the whole house and actually also into the attic where I found this fabulous find. I found a beautiful roll of vintage wallpaper. And so this is a nice yellow damask pattern. It's pretty timeless, actually. And it was up in the attic in a box, and yet it was kind of gross up there, a little musty. And there was a little bit of, you know, staining and, you know, possibly a little toxic mold on there, but I just cut that right off. Not a problem. The rest of the roll is in fantastic shape. And look how big this roll is. Okay, I got this for $2 because nobody else saw the need for it. Now, you may be thinking, or, you know, do I want to hang this up on the wall? Not necessarily. What I can do is use this in a completely different way than a typical wallpaper. And one of the ways that I like to use vintage wallpaper is to use it to line drawers of dressers or maybe kitchen cabinets or possibly in the backs of a bookcase or a hutch. So let me show you this real quick. I have a hutch. See it back there in the corner? Yeah, there you go, back there in the corner. That is a, an antique hutch that belonged to a family member, so I have some sentimental attachment to it. it. But it's very dark, and so my dishes weren't really showing up in the back. So you'll notice back here, I have some vintage wallpaper that I hung in the back there. And the way that I did that, I didn't use wallpaper glue or, or tape or anything like that. I just used thumbtacks in the corner, and that way it's not permanent, and I can take it out when I get tired of it. And now that I found this gorgeous stuff, I really think this would look better in the back of that hutch. And it's gonna brighten up my room. And as you can see, it kind of goes along with my color scheme in this room. So I'm so excited about this. I get excited about um, silly things, but they make me really happy. $2, I mean, you just can't beat it. So if you haven't tried estate sales, what you need to do is go to estatesale.net and type in your zip code and it'll tell you all the estate sales in your area this week. Now, estate sales typically run on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, but some of them are different, um, but that's the way it is in our area. So, if you have time this weekend, maybe you should go check out an estate sale, and if you're lucky, you might find a fantastic treasure like this one that'll totally make your day. Have a great weekend.